Yoink. Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to show you guys a few pieces that I've bought from Walmart. I've seen a few people actually doing like plus size Walmart hauls and I've been looking at them. You know, I feel like Walmart has a bad rap. I never really go there to shop for clothes. I don't think I've ever really purchased clothes besides like workout leggings and things like that. Um, but even like bras and stuff, I just don't shop at Walmart. I, that's not where I think to go. I, I think I'd rather go to Target. So I had seen a couple of uh, YouTubers do a haul on Walmart and so I was like, you know what, just just try it because I spend so much goddamn money and uh, if I can get a few pieces for cheaper and you know, they last, they're not as you know good quality as I would have at a higher end price point, I'm okay with that because you're spending like $4 on a top, like legitimately four dollars on a top like you can't really beat it so i wanted to show you guys a few things that i bought online one piece i bought in the store this morning when i was picking up my online order um so yeah i wanted to show you i also wanted to show you guys like i never wear hats on camera focus thank you um i never really wear hats and i usually use them when i don't do my makeup and like i don't want people to look me in the eye but um my hair is like a hot mess express so look at this hat it's so cute um it is a camo hat it's like destructed destructive it has destruction on it i don't know but look what it says it says honey on it i just thought that can you see it i just thought that it was the cutest thing because my you know my youngest son's name is hendrix so we call him henny uh as in the liquor um you know there's not very many nicknames that go along with hendrix so um henny is where it's at so i just thought that was so cute no Look how cute. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I They don't all say Henny on them, but I thought it was really cute. It has, um, doesn't have like the Velcro, but it has like the little metal cap back here or piece that you can like adjust. I don't know if you saw that. And if you saw my pile of dirty clothes behind me, I apologize. I'm in the midst of doing laundry. So, so anyways, let's, um, look at some of these clothes because I feel like my cat is trying to scooch his way over to lay on all my new clothes so the first couple of things that i got are little baby socks i know i don't i know y'all probably don't care but like little baby clothes they're so cute i never did my amazon baby haul because by the time i was like gonna do it and take pictures of hendrix in it he like doesn't fit into any of it anymore so that sucks um and that's another thing like i feel like i blow my money on baby clothes like so adorable so cute and then he just grows right the f out of it i'll have to try and take a picture maybe i'll insert it here nothing to do with the walmart haul but he just looks super cute today he has little oshkosh bagosh overalls and a really badass Jimi hendrix onesie that some of my bitches got for me uh or got for him i should say it's literally the cutest thing of life i'll try and uh, take a picture when he wakes up but hello <gasps> hi hello are you ridiculous are you a little oh i just hit you with my hat Say hello, Hendrix. <gasps> hello. Hey, how's my boy? How's my boy? Are you doing good? He just woke up from a nap, so we're gonna have to figure out filming. Oh, but look at how cute you look. Look at how sweet the baby is. Let's change the diaper. We gotta change the diaper anyways. But if we can take off overalls one-handed, we can show everybody your really cool shirt, bud. <gasps> wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're okay, wiggly boy. Look at how handsome. <gasps> Look at how handsome this man is. Oh my goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. Bye. First things I got were some little socks. I know, like, who cares? I care, people. This is in my order. I got little emoji socks. I figured his brothers would get a kick out of seeing him in some poop socks. And then the man's obsession with Elmo at this point in time is so real. So I hope he gets a, a kick out of having him on his little toes. They have little grippers, like he's even going to start walking. What size is this? I have no idea. Safety toes. These are like three months. What three month old is walking? But look how cute. Elmo cookie and Elmo. Oh, so sweet. Okay, so now to the first piece um, that I got. And I will tell you that I didn't spend more than $70 on everything that it may be. Actually, $75 with the thing that I bought in store today, including the socks. Can you see? Oh, you can't see. My cat just went and laid right on the pile of clothes that I have to show you. So I didn't spend more than $75 on all of this stuff that I purchased. A lot of it was 
some of it was clearance, some of it is just flat out cheap, like dirt cheap. Um, and who knows, I can't speak to the longevity of it all. Obviously this is like my first haul from them, so I don't know after washing and wearing how long, you know, it will take for them to actually like disintegrate on my body. But um, I figure, why not, right? $75 for a few pieces of items. Um, I also have an order coming in from ThreadUp, which I'm really excited about. Um, so I'll show you guys that when that comes in. I did like, I placed a huge order and then I, there was a really good discount code and I mean, it was crazy. But anyways, I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. So this is the first piece that I got. Do not judge me by the first t-shirt portion. It's two pieces um, that come together. Um, I'm never gonna wear this, I don't think. I mean, I probably will. You'll probably see me in it next holiday season. So this is the t-shirt that I came with. Oh, it's white, so it's gonna kill everything. Uh, it's actually not even that ugly. Like, I like deer heads. I have them on my wall. I like gold and I love the buffalo check, but you know, that's just kind of not my thing. That's not my jam. The whole reason I bought it was because it came with this little like bomber jacket kind of thing. It's super thin. It's like really thin. It's not really a jacket at all. Um, I got it in a 2X. But again, I love the bluff, the bluff, blah, blah, blah. I love the buffalo plaid. Um, I just absolutely adore it in the winter time and especially around the holidays. So I figured, you know, I could get some use out of it even next year. Um, but it is really, really thin. So obviously, I mean, you wear a shirt under a jacket like this anyways, but it wouldn't be something that I would go out in the winter and wear, you know what I mean? Maybe in the fall with a long sleeve shirt under it. But I really just thought it was super cute. Um, it has the elastic banding at the waistline and then also on the sleeves. It's a little bit shorter than I anticipated, but it's loose, it's baggy, and really comfortable. So I'm okay with it. I really, really like this piece though. Um, I got this in a 2X and yeah, I'll see how it fits. The second piece that I got is the same exact thing, the two-piece set, but it has a different print on it. Again, the t-shirt that comes with it, it's, you know, it might be somebody's cup of tea, but it just is not your girls. Like, I don't really foresee myself wearing that, and then you'll probably see me, like, on Instagram wearing that. But I don't normally wear printed tees, unless they're badass, you know? Not love on my shirt, so. But the reason I got it is because it came with this bomber jacket, um, same thing as the buffalo, I cannot say that, buffalo plaid, um, but it is a really muted, really pretty camo print. I will say that everything that I got was in like the junior section, so I kind of, I sized up to make sure that it would fit because, you know, junior sizing can be a little bit wonky. It's not your normal woman's plus size. Right now, that's where I'm at. I'm in a woman's plus size, um... Yo, tell me why National Grid just pulled up in front of my window and he's just looking at me right now. It's this really cute um, camo muted, but like I said, I did size up for this um, because like I said, the junior sizing can be a little bit wonky, so I got it in a 3X. It is really baggy though. I, I wish I didn't. Even the 2X is a little bit big, so I wish that I had not um, done that. I am a pretty true, like, so I can fit into like a, a 1X, um, but I have the double gut syndrome, so I have like the double gut syndrome. So I don't like for my top gut to ever show through my shirt. So I know they say don't wear baggy clothes, you know, it makes you look bigger than you actually are, but for me, I'd prefer to wear a little bit baggier because I don't feel like it's flattering, it doesn't look great. Having something, you know, show my stomach my double gut, you know? So I do like it a little bit baggy. So I could technically fit into a 1X, but you do get a little glimpse of the double gut, the top gut, which I'm just not okay with. Um, so I do kind of go up to a 2X and I wear like a 16, maybe an 18 in pants, depending on the brand and the style. So 
with a Junior's 3X, if this is the No Boundaries brand for both, I really wish I went down um, to even a 1X and um, I feel like that would have been fine. I'm, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not planning to wear the t-shirts underneath so I don't think the double gut would be an issue uh, and I probably should have thought that through a little bit more but I didn't so here we are. And a lot of these aren't, like I said, the majority of everything I bought was online so a lot of it isn't gonna be available in the store. So I don't know if it's worth, worth the hassle of like returning it and trying to buy a new one. Um, you guys let me know if I do get to try these on, what you think of this, um, and then, yeah, so, it's cute though, it's camo, it's cute, I can... here is again from No Boundaries and it's actually really adorable. I sized it up but again I don't want my double gut showing so I sized up to a 3x. It is a little bit large and in charge but it is a bit of a cropped sweater um, so you can see like I don't know if you can see but it's shorter in the front than it is in the back and it is a little bit cropped um, so it's probably gonna work out that I did get it bigger and it will just be super baggy um, but it's you know obviously see-through. Can you see me because I can see I can see y'all. It has um, this really pretty, you know, the super in style crisscross on the neckline. And then it has these, I think they're coming across really gold because of the reflection um, on the camera. But they're like more of a coppery, I don't want to say rose gold, but like a really copper, a true copper color st metallic star on this more open knit weave. That makes sense. Open knit weave. I don't know what I'm talking about. But this is really super cute. I loved the pattern. I love the print. I will have to list... I will have to list all of the prices of everything down below. I'll list the links too, obviously, if they're still available. Like I said, some of these things were clearance, but I'll list the links and the prices um, because I feel like this is like $5 or something. And it's not, you know, a warm sweater. It's not gonna keep you all warm in the, you know, the rest of these winter months, but it's super cute and I feel like it can transition really nicely into the springtime with just like a, a little tank top underneath it. And, um, you know, you can still be super cute. I don't know, I really liked it, so. And it's a pretty color, right? With my hat, does it match my hat? <laughs> next piece is from a brand called Moral Fiber and I got three items from them when I was looking through the website it seemed like they almost had some of the pieces from like you know those like really inexpensive like wish apps or I don't know the brand like the actual clothing stores but the little you know the China based websites where they have like this exquisite lace top for four dollars and eighty two cents for a limited time only you know and the sizing's really wonky when I was going through their stuff it seemed like they sold a lot of those same pieces so they were coming from other distributors and brands and things like that so I think that's where these came from um I wanted to try a few more pieces like that like the off brand coming from a different you know country or whatever but I didn't really find a ton and then the shipping was like weird on the ones that I did want so I was just like no I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna F with you so um this is from a company or a brand called Moral Fiber it is a junior size again this is a 3x this is um a much smaller 3x than the other ones that I have seen today so um this one's probably gonna fit me right now which is you know it is what it is but it's this really adorable black t-shirt obviously it has a bit of ruffling here on the sleeves it is a long sleeve but if you can see it has some destruction towards the um, shoulders and even towards the bottom and stuff of the piece itself and it's just on the front 
really super cute I'm into that y'all know that I like a good you know holy shirt um, but I just thought it was really adorable and it's all black just super flattering has like I said the like, cute little feminine ruffle details right here and then it still has you know the destruction right along the neckline so it kind of you know it makes it a little less girly so I'm into it so yeah from Moral Fiber. I don't really remember ordering this. So I wonder, I don't even know if I can return this stuff to Walmart. I'm going to have to try and let y'all know. But um, I don't, I really don't think I ordered this. And if I did, I didn't realize, but it's again, a black shirt. It has a really interesting feel to the fabric. It is spandex and um, polyester, but it's like almost like microfibery. It's like really weird. Is that the right word? Microfiber? Maybe. I don't know. But it's like a thicker, so super soft, but thicker material. So it's a black t-shirt. It has three quarter sleeves, but then it has these like things. Can you see? Now y'all know, I've talked about this in previous videos. My face and my shoulders and my hands don't really match. So I'm not really about the cold shoulder life at this point in my, 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 existence um until i start like self tanning maybe that's a situation that i can you know get into but i this isn't even cold shoulder like this isn't even really something that i would normally gravitate towards so i don't remember buying this but <sighs> apparently i did apparently i spent some money on it so we're gonna have to see but again um i'll try it on and see what i think but i just don't i don't feel like bronzing my shoulders and like the top half of my arm you know what i mean like I'm not into that. So um, we'll have to see if I can return this to Walmart or how that actually works. But um, let me know what you think down below of this shirt. It's just it's just not my style. There's nothing wrong with it. If I could pull off a cold shoulder, I certainly would. But I just, I can't. that I got was again from the company Moral Fiber. Um, I got them all in a size 3X because again junior sizing I wanted to size up but this was definitely the most snug of them all for sure. Um, I could definitely notice a big difference in the way that this fit me compared to the others. Um, again it is just a black t-shirt long sleeves. It has this really cute like cage detail here. Oh, cage detail there at the neckline and then it again has some destructed pieces along the neckline and the shoulder area and then a few down towards the bottom um again super soft material it isn't like the microfiber thicker fabric it's very like thin i don't know can you see me because i can see you but like i said it definitely fit more snugly than the others which again this is a 3x and that's not necessarily my size so i was a little bit surprised at that but um again really soft and comfy so i don't know i might just end up keeping it at this, you know already has the destruction on it so it's kind of like a ratty old tee from the jump which i can appreciate so um yeah i don't know i really i, I do like it but it just fit a bit snug I got online was this kind of workout tank top and it says champagnes okay how are we gonna do this girl how the hell are we gonna do it champagnes diamonds stilettos and squats 
Um, I got this also in a 3X because I wasn't 100%. It is baggy and flowy, which I'm fine with because whether or not I'm wearing it to like bum around the house in leggings or I'm actually wearing it to the gym, um, I'm, I'm cool with it being oversized. So I really like the contrast of the black and white. I love the print of it, how it has like the blocked background there. So I really did enjoy this t-shirt, I mean tank top. And again, it was like super inexpensive. It's from the fit, uh, the brand Fit, Fashion, Inspire, and Train. Um, well, I never heard of it, but super cute. It has the racer back detail. Um, but like I said, whether or not I'm wearing it to actually like work out or just like I would wear under a hoodie today, I, I'm okay with the fit of it. It is baggy. Um, and you know, it was an inexpensive tank top, so what can you do? I, I like this a lot. that I got online don't judge me but they are gold foil bat leggings because why the fuck not right uh, these are again on clearance they are uh, a 2x probably should have gotten a smaller size from faded glory but you know they're just fun I would totally rock these not necessarily outside of the house unless it's Halloween time but around the house I can never have too many leggings and look it they're gold shiny freaking bats look so the last piece that I bought was the item that I picked up in store today. They had a ton of clearance going on, not only online, but also in the store, like in every department. There's just racks and racks. I think they're transitioning out. They put out their bathing suits today, so they're kind of trying to get things transitioned into spring and summer. So um, I picked up this really adorable little, not tank top, not t-shirt, but it's like this little blouse that has adorable little bell sleeves. It's kind of like two tiers of bells here with the mesh at the top. It has a mesh towards, how are we gonna show this, Caitlin? How are we gonna do it? Um, it has like a little bit of a mesh towards the neckline and then it goes down to a lined, um, more of a, a lined tank top look underneath. So adorable, you guys. This was $9. This was a 2X that I got, a Junior's 2X. It's from Faded Glory. But look at the colors. Like, I don't know. I think it's beautiful. I really could see myself wearing this into the fall even. I just think it's really, really pretty. Um, and I could totally see myself wearing this for casual, like, jean day at work. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm a sucker for the mesh on the top. And But my kind of issue is, like, how do I not show bra, bra straps? I've never found a really good, like, strapless bra. So that will be, if I don't wear a cardigan with this, that will be, like, the issue. How do you wear this? I mean, what kind of a bra do I wear it with? But it was nine dollars so it was really cute i couldn't pass it up um i just really really liked it you know look how cute and the colors are to die i love the colors i love the mustard in there i just think it's really pretty so go get you some go get it picked up at Walmart like I said less than $75 for everything combined I just you know the quality it is what it is the fact like I said you're gonna find different brands so just be careful be mindful when you're online searching for it some items are shipping from overseas some items are shipping from dis different distributors um, so you just kind of gotta look around and be mindful of that and if you're okay with waiting for you know an extra few days for a few pieces and you want to try um, some other brands just keep in mind Go by their sizing, look at what they're they're recommending for the measurements of the sizes that they're offering, because if it is an overseas brand, a lot of times they do run smaller. Um, but overall, you know, I can't really complain. I think I will try and return at least one of the shirts that I showed you guys, the one with the weird cold shoulder situation. Um, so I'll have to let you guys know in the description bar when I do get around to doing that, because I suck at returning things. I suck. Do any of you guys have a Poshmark? Because I was thinking about trying to sell Poshmark, but then I'm like, am I too lazy to take pictures of everything? Am I too lazy? 
The answer is probably yes, but I don't know how difficult it is, how easy it is. I went on there, so I have an account with Poshmark, but I kind of got like overwhelmed and I was like, what? Well, I don't know what I'm doing, so then I just stopped. So if you guys use Poshmark, let me know and let me know any tips that you have for selling on there. Because I have a bunch of stuff, you know, kids clothes. I have a bunch of like Abercrombie things for my kids, brand new jeans and like just all kinds of junk that we just don't need and I could use a few extra bucks. So um, let me know if you guys use that at all. But um, hopefully I will try and return these. Hopefully I will be on my game and try and return them. Maybe even today, same day. Let's do it, girl. Yeah. And then I will put in the description bar exactly what happened if I was able to return it, if I have to ship it back. Y'all know that is not ever gonna happen. I will just drop it off at a donation bin on the way back from Walmart if that is their answer. So, but I'll let you guys know. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and I can't wait for the next few hauls coming up. Like I said, I have thread up. I bought shit ton of stuff. Hopefully it fits because I don't really know my size right now. It's like leggings. Sometimes I wear my maternity work pants. Like I don't really know. So I'm just kind of trying to figure things out. I'm trying to make my way through life one garment at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.